Okay, for our final project in CECS 525, we decided to turn the Raspberry Pi right here into a carpooter. And what we did is we connected the Pi with a USB cable directly to his uh, engine CPU so we can actually read values from the engine and we can react um, accordingly. So right here, uh, we created a GUI right here and we can see the RPMs, the engine load, the, the miles per hour, the coolant temp, and we've also got a song player right here. And the throttle position. And the throttle position, I'm sorry. And so right now, if I click, well, hold on up here. We decided to change the volume of the song playing based on the car's current speed. Uh, it tops out at 45 miles an hour, and that would be the max volume. So as we drive this car, we will see, or you will hear the volume change. So here we go, I'm gonna play the song. Okay, you can hear it, it's very soft right now. Turn into Arby's. Yes. <laughs> I didn't want to get it on the video, but okay. Right, let's go ahead and park up here and I'll uh, talk about the shutdown script. And, uh, to demonstrate both of them. Uh, we have a, a laser cut acrylic stand for the Nexus 7 and a 3D printed ABS stand for the uh, iPad. Now on, as an additional uh, safety requirement, um, like we don't want the, the Raspberry Pi to just have power cut to it when we turn the car off. So we have uh, status light right here which shows us the current status of the uh, of our connection uh, it'll show yellow if it's just powered on it's got this yellowish green here now that it's connected to OBD and then if I press the, the button switch it'll flash red and then it'll continue flashing red until it is successfully shut down and we know it's safe to power off and that's it